this video, I'm going to show you how to easily add music to your Instagram Reels four different ways. I'm going to show you how to add trending music to help your Reels go viral, how to find and add your favorite music tracks to your Reels, how to add copyright free music so you can avoid your Reel being turned into a silent movie. And lastly, I'm also going to show you how to add your own custom music to your reel and then how to upload it to Instagram so others can use it too. We got a lot to cover, let's get started. Firstly, let me show you how simple it is to find and add a trending song to your Instagram reel. Now for this, we're going to open up the Instagram app. If you've been scrolling through reels, you'll notice that next to the music track, some songs have an arrow pointing up. Now this indicates that this is a trending song and you should hop on this trend right away. So to do that, you're just going to click on the track icon in the bottom right hand corner and you'll see that you can save the song by clicking here or you can use the audio right away by clicking on use audio. You can then record yourself by holding down the circle button or if you have an Instagram reel already saved in your phone, then click the square icon down the bottom to open up your camera roll. Choose your video and then click select. The music and video will play together, then click next. Fill in your caption, add your hashtags, choose a cover photo and hit share to post your Instagram reel with music. Now that's one way to add music to an Instagram reel. Another way to do this is to go back into the app, click the reel icon down the bottom and then click on the camera icon in the top right hand corner. Click on audio and in here you can type in the name of any music track to search for it or if you're open to all types of music, scroll down to see some music that Instagram has already recommended for you. You also have new music releases and original audio and this is more of those kind of viral quotes and voiceovers that you find trending when you're scrolling through the app. To hear a sample of a song or a sound, click on the play button and if you're happy with it, click on the track to add it to your reel. Now another thing that we can change here is the portion of the song. So if you wanted a particular verse or a chorus, drag that track over to the left or the right to find the section of the song that you want to play. Once you found it, click done. Now click on the square icon in the bottom left hand corner to open up your camera roll, choose the video for your reel and click select. You're given a chance here to see the music and video play consecutively and if you want to change the volume of either the song or the video, you can click on the music note and then select controls and you can play around with the volume of both. Click done, click next, caption your reel, add your hashtags and pick a cover photo. Then click share to post your Instagram reel with music. And that's the second way that you can add music to an Instagram reel. However, you're most likely going to run into some issues using both of these methods because sometimes Instagram music tracks, they get removed and your video will be left silent and you'll see this showing on your Instagram reel. Or sometimes music is banned in certain countries, which hinders your growth and reach on Instagram, which is why I'm never going to show you how to add your own custom music and how to add copyright free music so you can avoid all of these issues. And for this, I'm going to be using Veed. So let's get to it. Now we're in Veed, click upload a file and select your Instagram reel clip. You'll notice that if you choose a vertical video that Veed automatically resizes the frame to fit that format, which is super helpful. Next, you can decide whether you want to add your own custom music or if you want to add some copyright free music. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do both. But first, let me show you how to add your own custom music. So if you do want to add copyright free music, please feel free to skip forward to this timestamp. Now for adding custom songs, we're going to click add media above the timeline and click upload a file. We're going to now select our own custom MP3 track and give it a second to load. Put your playhead to the point on the track that you want your music to start and click split. Then put your playhead to the end of that point in the track and click split again. To delete the excess parts, just right click on them and hit delete. Now drag and drop your music layer to the start of your timeline. If the track is still longer than your Instagram reel, just push it over to the left so that it ends in sync with your video. You can now skip forward to this timestamp to learn how to adjust the volume of your music and also how to export your Instagram reel. Now I'm going to show you how to add copyright free music. Indeed, there is an entire library of copyright free music and everything is filtered by genre, making it super easy to find the perfect song. Click audio in the left toolbar and we're going to scroll down to stock music and click search. We have all the different types of music genres up the top for you to choose from. Or if you like, you can type in the trait of the music that you want to use on your Instagram reel. Now, for instance, my reel here is fast paced and I'm going to type in fast drive and then I'm just going to listen to a sample of any of the suggested songs by clicking on the play button. Once I find the perfect music for my Instagram reel, I'll then click the plus sign and it's going to appear below my video in the timeline. 
However, because the music is much, much longer than my reel, I'm gonna need to trim it. So all I'm gonna do is push that music track over to the left so that it ends in sync with my video. Also, very similar to what we did on the app, we're now gonna adjust the volume of both the video and the music. With the music track selected in the timeline, I can then opt to add in a fade in or fade out, and that's just gonna give a nice flow to my reel. And if I select the video layer in the timeline, I can scroll down that left-hand panel, turn down that audio so that it doesn't distract from my music. Now we can go ahead and we can export our Instagram reel. Click done in the top right-hand corner, and where you see quality, click next to it. Choose your render settings, then go back and click export video. We're gonna give that a moment here to render, and once it's done, we can watch it back to see how it turned out. Lastly, click download and download MP4. The final thing that I wanna show you can be used to grow your Instagram, drive traffic towards your profile, and it's basically free marketing if you're a singer or a songwriter. We're gonna be sharing our own music to Instagram through Reels. So I've already got my Reel here ready to go with my own custom music. So I'm gonna open up the app, and just like we did in the very first chapter of this video, we're gonna upload our reel, and then when we get to the final page, we're gonna scroll down and you'll see the option to rename audio. You're now gonna title that music track, and ideally, you wanna include your name, and then click done. Click share, and now if anybody watches my reel, they can tap on that track icon, and they can save, share, or use my music. And that's it. That's four different ways of adding music to an Instagram reel. I really hope you found this video helpful, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.